In this video, we'll be at Xenophonos Monastery on Mount Athos. We'll hear the oldest Christian hymn still in use. We'll join a procession that goes around the entirety of the monastery. We'll have a meal with the monks, and we'll see the most hopeful room in the whole monastery. Let's go. So I continue the story of my stay at the holy monastery of Xenophondos on Mount Athos. It is Pascha Sunday. At 5 p.m., we have the Agape Vespers service, where the gospel is read in several languages. And appropriately, each Vespers, we chant Fos Ilaron, or O Gladsome Light. It's one of the oldest Christian hymns still in use, text and melody intact after more than 1700 years. So as the sun is setting, we celebrate the light of Christ that is never setting. The next morning was bright Monday, so I was awakened at 4.45 a.m., and then I was off to church for the Orthro service and divine liturgy. After that, we had an ancient bright week tradition of the procession of the icons around the Holy Xenophondos Monastery. Everyone was there. We had a beautiful morning for the procession. The monastery's holy relics of saints were brought out 
and we reverenced them. It was a very moving moment. I want to say a word about the meals at Xenofondos. They have two communal meals daily in the trapeza, or the refectory. The walls are covered with icons. I was grateful to spend this time dining with the other pilgrims. One of the monks reads from the fathers while we tuck in. The food was simple but amazing. Today was delicious fish, a bowl of soup, fresh bread, an egg, water and wine. You must eat quickly. Was it 10 minutes? Was it 12? I don't remember. But when it's done, everyone goes. On bright Monday evening, Father Jeremiah took me to the Necrotafio, or cemetery, of Xenofondos. The cemetery was simple in its beauty and humility. Inside the chapel is the monastery's Osteofilacio, or ossuary, where they keep the skulls and bones of the monks who had fallen asleep in the Lord. The monks are buried for years and then exhumed and placed with loving care in the ossuary. Some of the skulls have the name of the monk on them. This is a place of respect, love, and great hope in the resurrection. I have heard it called the school of philosophy because to be reminded of one's own end, that one's life ultimately is aimed to be with the Lord, that's the starting place of wisdom and guidance. As St. Paul told the Thessalonians, we don't mourn as if we have no hope. Christos Anesti, Christ is risen. given a moment to have a personal meeting with the Yeronda, or abbot, Alexios of Xenofondos. He was very kind and thoughtful. He took my face in his hand and wished me a good stay, where I would be rejuvenated, find peace, and be strengthened in my faith. My stay at Xenofondos did exactly that. Thank you, Father Jeremiah. Thank you, Father Zosimas. Christos Anesti. Thank you, Geronda Alexios, and all the monks at Xenofondos. I had a wonderful stay. Before I knew it, it was time to say goodbye and to go on to my next adventure. <laughs>